What is up, guys? Jake here again with a Minecraft tutorial today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a automatic wheat farm, uh, like this one. It's pretty simple. Um, there's probably an easier design for this, but uh, this is the one I figured out how to do myself. And there's that one too, just smaller. So yeah, let's get started. Um, let me get the materials we're going to need. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some dirt. Um, I can't find anything right now. Okay. Just, oh, there we go. I wasn't on the first page. That's why I have some dirt, sticky pistons, um, a lever. A, some redstone from redstone repeaters a, some bone meal some seeds where are seeds oh well you gotta get a hoe you gotta get seeds okay so that's for now okay so first I'm gonna show you how to over there I was trying to make it you know okay so what you gotta do is you got you dig a two hole down however many you want your thing. So I'm gonna make it uh, however long you want your wheat farm, like how many things you want to plant. And it's very easy to expand too, so I'll show you that towards the end. So then you dig a two hole. I'm doing mine four, and then you just place a repeater on the second one, and then you go one away or however many you want away for your next farm thing, and then you do the same. I do one because then I can have a water source in between. And on top of the pistons, you're just going to place a dirt block. Dig that out. Okay, so go next to your dirt block and dig down two for all your pistons. And I would dig out a uh, two by three or four. I do four just so I can have a little bit of extra room. So there goes one. Or this is actually a four by four thing. So then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your redstone repeaters and you are going to place them behind each piston like so. And you can put them on a delay tick if you want. I'm not gonna. Then you just place redstone behind each repeater. So there, if you place that, if you were to place a lever there, it would power those pistons. Okay. So now, we're going to do the same for the other side. So, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I may go into Sony Vegas and speed this part up, because you guys don't need to watch me dig out dirt. But maybe not. Who knows? Maybe you do. Maybe you want to watch me dig out dirt. Who knows? Maybe you have a dirt fetish. Okay, do the same. Ooh, put that one on a tick. Okay. You do the same thing for this side. Just place redstone repeaters and redstone. Okay. So now this is where you gotta really do stuff with it. So for this, we're gonna do this. Okay. You go, you dig a two, like, little trench around all the way to the other side. So, like, so... So this is going to be where your lever is placed, and also to, so one lever can power both sides. So like this. And you just place redstone on the second block down in the hole. And then uh, about halfway through, so about where you would put your water source, I would say. So right there. You're going to place a repeater facing that way. So uh, there you have it. And then you just place some dirt on this the block above it, and then, uh, place your lever right about there, and it should power it, and it didn't power both sides, because my repeater's facing the wrong way, so I lied, face the repeater that way, and there we have it, it powers both sides, 
and yeah, one lever powers both sides. You can like instead of having dirt here, you can put like wood here, make it look nice. But I'm just gonna throw some dirt down. Then you just uh cover up your hole so your redstone's not showing. Like I said, this is a pretty simple tutorial. Um, I'm gonna show you that it works, and then I'm gonna show you how to expand. Pretty simple. See, as you can see, we had a little bit of extra space, but that's okay. Now we just fill it in. Okay. So now that that's filled in, we'll uh, till the land. We'll grab a bucket of water. Okay. Okay, there it is, and then we just, let me just bone meal it, so that way, I can flip the lever. So, all the wheat, all the wheat's growing, you just flip your lever, pops it up, you get the wheat and the seeds, run around and collect it. And this could easily be converted into a melon farm, because uh, all you'd have to do is, let me show you. Eh, we don't need any repeaters. Oh, yeah, we do need repeaters. We don't need any dirt right this second. Um, so, get the seeds back. Um, let me get some melon seeds. Or pumpkin seeds. So, it could be a melon or pumpkin farm. Or wheat farm, actually. So, you just uh, place your melon seed down. You bone meal it. And then, hopefully... And then, like, when it grow, when the melon grows, it would grow over on this line. And then, uh, you just flip the lever, and, well, you'd have to move the pistons over one, but, well, actually, you'd have to do it like this. I don't know. It's, like, hard, I don't know. It would be hard, er, but not really. If you, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, uh, yeah. Let me get the seeds back. So I can show you how to expand. All you'd have to do is you'd have to plant the melons on that line and then let the melons grow on this side. Put some on that side so they couldn't grow. And then let the melons grow on this side so that way they could um, easily be... You flip the lever and the pistons go up and it takes the melons out. Okay, but anyways. Now I'm going to show you how to expand it. This is pretty easy. Uh, all you want to do is, since you put the redstone here, the line of redstone, you don't want to expand to that side because you'll hit that redstone. So you're going to expand to this side. So you dig down two, however many more you want. So we'll do four more, make it an eight by eight. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't want that. Grab a bucket first. Okay. And then you just place your pistons down. Place your pistons down right, I should say. And then to expand it this way, it would be a lot more difficult because your redstone mechanism behind it. Like I said before, there's probably a lot easier way to do this. I just, you know, I figured this out by myself, so... Like, I didn't watch a tutorial or anything. I'm sure somebody's already done this, but. Okay. And then you just go ahead and uh, dig behind it again. And, yeah, you're going to want to do the exact same thing you did back here. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, that wiped out our redstone. Okay. 
all the redstone under there is good. So we just gotta redo this real fast because of our water mishap. Except we're in a so you just place a repeater behind each block and then place some redstone behind each repeater. And then just attach it. And we'll check it out. Test it, make sure she works. Throw that away. Just set this to daytime, just to make sure you guys can see it. Alright, you ready? Let's test it out. And there we have it. And I did forgot to do the other side, so that's why it didn't work. But uh you guys can you you guys can do that. And why didn't that one work? Hold on, let me just let's test this one out right now. Oh the redstone line cuts off. So oh yeah, because it's the eighth block. So I really don't know how you would do that. Maybe you would do it like this. Let me test this out. You guys can figure this out by yourselves, but you don't need me to do everything for you. Yep, just like that. Except that one doesn't work now. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see what we'd have to do. I'd have to do it like that. You have to do it like that. So it just have to be another repeater there because of uh, the 8 block redstone thing. So yeah, guys. Uh, this is a just a quick Minecraft tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed, like, favorite, and please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Come back next time. See ya.